and tactile yes i am are they cute doctors too this may be first time to seeing him here but where is the old doctor what happened to you why you all of a sudden turned into a red girl guess i'm having fever he placed his palm on your forehead and calling the doctors doctors oh my god you are the doctor man who oh, me do i look like a doctor to you but i'm not oh no yes no yes no yes oh my god faints Hey, why did you even faint now? Oh God, I don't know how to treat this girl. He made you sit in a chair and splashed water on your face. He is feeling like a doctor. Shut up! I don't know how to cure you, but I have saved you, so you should thank me. Ish, I just fainted. Oh my God, it's not like you saved me from cancer. C- cancer? Hmm, I'm on stage second of cancer. No one can help me. Now, second stage. He fainted immediately by shock. Oh, crap! This time you splashed water on his face and made him wake up quickly. I don't even know the cancer spelling yet. How can I get you out of the second stage? I sh. I never asked you to get me out of there. I'm just here for the reports, cause I already know it's gonna get bad. He searched your reports in the table and gave them to you. May I check your reports? Hmm. What? Hmm. No, no. It's okay. I gotta go. So, can you give me my reports? Huh? But I already gave you reports. Oh shit. Yeah. Thanks, daughter. Bye. Then out of the cabin. That was close after my melody drama about cancer. Yeah, as soon as you left, he got tired and threw his body into the chair. How oh God, are you listening to me? Save her from cancer, otherwise I will. Cool, you shouldn't talk to him like that. Nothing. Next day, Aish, he must be worried about me as he is a doctor. Wait, the real question is, he is a doctor or no? Aish. Why these hospital people have to call me in the morning? For another checkup, I sh- I said, parking my car and going into the hospital. He was talking to the patients finally, and then I saved you and called you. Hey, no, no, please, no, it shouldn't be him. I was whispering to myself. Hey, you! He happily running to you while calling you. I closed my eyes and looked back. He stopped in front of you while breathing heavily. How are you, girl? I hope you are you okay. This is not good, Ryan. I have to tell him the truth. Why did you come here again? Do you like talking to me? Say friendly. Mm, yeah, about cancer. I'm sorry, doctor. I lied to you. I don't have any cancer. I'm just here for some test done. Cause I'm back from the stairs, and you know about the virus. What? When you tell the truth, he doesn't get angry, but instead feels happy because you have no cancer. If you have cancer, he will also suffer. So it's cool now. So he hugged you. Do- doctor, what are you doing? Feeling happy today? Mm, but you hugging me in front of your friend. Don't you think it's a bit over on me? Hey, no one thinks I hug before greeting them. It's normal. But you know, oh, I'm sorry. I was dramatic. Yeah, what is it? I did a lot of research last night on how to cure cancer for you. Oh my god, I didn't know. Doctors are so caring when it comes to their patients. Yeah, yeah. What? Did you call me again, doctor? Oh wait, you are not your doctor, right? I'm confused. Are you doctor or not? I'm a human, and this hospital is my dad's, and. I come here every day and chit chat like a doctor to bring you happiness to patients. That's so fond of you, Mister. I'm sorry, but what is your name, sir? I'm very handsome. Hmm. Well, you are actually handsome, I agree. But what's your real name, handsome? 
this handsome guy name is Tahyung and he is a medical student here and he has no other than his appa. Would you mind if we had you in his contact? That, that's so smooth, holy shit. Um, yeah, sure. Now tell me about yourself. I'm Wyan. I was born in the States and I come to Korea for my studies. And? Um, well, the coincidence is that I am also a medical student. What, really? <laughs> Just then. So, Tay, what's your university? USD and yours? Same, I'm your pressure. What about you? Same, you're here. Damn. Then I got to ask you everything on my first day. It would be waste if you ask about that because I have forgotten that. Then what am I supposed to ask? Who knows? Yeah, I don't get dirty minded thoughts. Dirty? Which kind of thoughts? Mm, shit. But well, I guess you want to think in that way. If you say exactly what you think, I think like you. But did your face turn right like yesterday? Are you a chameleon or what? Maybe I am a chameleon for you? For me? I know why. You will know soon. Hey boy, and I don't have your girlfriend. Okay, but why are you telling me? Want to know if you have your girlfriend or not? No, but until I see you. She mumbled the last sentence, but he could hear. What did you say now? Uh, nothing. It's okay, I hear you so beautifully to say. I want to teach you, so what do you say? She closed her eyes and told him in order. It was a hospital, so he shocked and called her mother and closed her door and so no one could hear. Their faces were inches away from each other. And his warm breath made her feel damp, and he whispered in her ear. I thought I should ask you the same. Huh? They both looked at each other shyly. Their thoughts and likes were the same. He was going to bring his face closer to hers. Excuse me, I'm here too. Is it your hospital or your love spark, huh? I'm dying of BP if you two are doing melody drama here. Actually, he come to the first checkup due to high BP. After seeing that his VP increased further. Oh my god, don't die for us. We will leave. Jesus both held their hands and started running from there and giggling and laughing at each other.